In this video, we show how to use our Python MRS extension for affine correlation-based registration. Before using the extension, you will have to install Python, download the extension from the extension repository, and possibly download the sample datasets from Zenodo. For detailed instructions on how to do all these steps, please see our GitHub website now that we've downloaded the uh, extensions repository and the sample data set, let's start by taking a look at the sample data set. We'll be working with the human spleen data. And let's open one of the images there. Now, as you can see, they're all named uh, human spleen panel and panel number. That That's not critical for working with the extension. It's just the only uh, nice thing is that the uh, file names are relatively short because we use them later on in plotting some graphs. But uh, no, no uh, real uh, uh, requirements on the file names. What there is a requirement is on the channel names. The, ch the channel that we use for registration has to have the same name across all panels. That's how we identify corresponding channels. Now, uh, I don't actually want all of, the, all of them to be called the same, exactly the same name. So we, our uh, scheme is that the channels have a prefix separator character, in this case colon, and a postfix. So in this case, it's called panel one colon hocust and uh, th that will identify uh, that as a uh, registration channel for us. If we open panel two on MRS, we can see that, yes, everything is called panel two colon something, so the uh, channel name, in this case, Hocust, and that's what we'll be, wor these are the files we'll be working with. So without further ado, let's uh, run the extension and we run the extension by running the uh, this driver script, which opens a, a menu, and from there we'll select the specific extension we want to work with. In our case, it's the uh, affine registration. And at any point in time, if you need help, you're not sure what to do next, or you've encountered a failure mode, everything is addressed in a help uh, under the help menu. You've got all kinds of instructions, failure, possible failure modes, and how to enter, how to uh, resolve them. So let's select our files. We're going with the human spleen data set. Opening it, as I said earlier, uh, the separator character is colon. Next, and you can see the extension identified that Hocust is the common channel across everything. Fixed, uh, fixed image is the image to, every, to which everything is registered. Uh, you could leave it uh, by default to whatever it is, in this case, panel one. Not too critical. Uh, the output, where do you want the output to be saved? Again, this by default, it's the, uh, the same as the input directory with a file name of output.ims. I'm just going to leave that for now. You could change it to whatever you want. Uh, if you uh, encounter failure modes, you will have to go into the advanced registration settings, modify th some things here based on the help, or you can, if you're just curious, play with things here and see how they affect uh, the registration. So without further ado, the next thing is just press the register button. And in a second, the registration itself will start. Now, a thing with the registration is that it does take some time. So in a standard use, this is about the right point to go get a cup of coffee. Uh, for this demo, I will just speed the video along.
Okay, so registration is finally completed. The registration pop up, the pop up notifying us of this has come up. Let's press OK. And now we need to resample and save the combined image. That will take a while too. Let's start the process. And you can see the progress happening here. It's uh, most of the time is it takes to write the channel back to disk. So that's the saving channel. And you can see that the actual reading resampling are pretty much uh, instantaneous. Uh, writing to disk takes a while. So again, uh, I will speed up this stage in the video, but in practice, you'll have to go get yet another cup of coffee. <laughs> Okay, so resampling has completed as we can see from the pop-up and we're at the last stage. This is really optional. It will save the correlations between the uh, Hocus channel in this case, but any common channel across all the panels. And it will save the correlation before registration and after registration between the different panels. Let's press the computation. Again, this will take a bit of time because of the file sizes involved in the computations. Uh, we'll see in a second what the results are. Okay, so we're completed the computations and now we can take a look at what came out of all of this registration. Let's close all the extension information there. And the output from the extension in the end, if you uh, enable all outputs, are five files. The, the two PDFs are the result from the last stage, the computation of correlation before and after. And let's take a look at these two PDF files so that we can compare the two. And we can see, again, that the correlation went up, which is not surprising because that's what we wanted, but that even though the original images were not pretty badly aligned in some cases, here we have a correlation of 0.16. That goes to 0.84 here. But essentially the correlation went up, so the registration seems to have worked. Uh, but the proof is obviously in the pudding. That is the output.ims file. Let's open RMRS here and I'll take a look at that file. It does take a bit of time to read the file the first time that we're opening it because of the way the extension saves it. So after you open it for the first time, save it using MRS for quick uh, uh, image reading later on. So that is the uh, Really, this is the result, and that's what we're interested in. Other than that, there's an output.json file, which uh, is uh, specifies the extension settings that were used to get these results. And this log uh, shows the uh, progress of registration throughout the process. So very useful for debugging purposes, but... Uh, or if you encounter problems and are wondering, you can po you know ask questions on uh, the GitHub repositories issues, and there uh, this would be helpful if we have an output.log to identify what what is going wrong if it's not working for you. So let's wait a second uh, till the file opens, and then we'll see how the results look from the extension. So we can see that the, uh, all of the channels have been registered. The mega panel is now ready. Uh, all of the channels from all of the files have been copied over with their appropriate names and their original visualization settings. And from here on, you can uh, analyze all of the information in one panel. And hopefully you enjoy the usage of the uh, Simple ITK MRS uh, registration extension.